And Scott Geekus joins us from the edge of the trading floor right now. He's with Prosper Trading Academy, and now that the reports are all out, we can, uh, I guess, look at maybe some other things to trade on. But are you surprised by the market reaction here, Scott? Well, here's the thing with the, with the whole market reaction. So the traders have been dying, and they've been starving for just reports coming out left and right. right. However, all the, the big pullback, the big sell-off with the grains just across the board from yesterday with the negative comments with the trade talks, it's completely overshadowed the report that came out today. So you've seen that big pullback. The numbers came, for the most part, they came within line. So yesterday with the big pullback, you've seen a spike in volatility. We expect that volatility after these numbers coming out. We expect that volatility to come in very significantly. So we're going to have to see how that option market is going to be playing out. Going into the report, just in the corn market, the call were active and so we bean market the puts were active so we're going to see how this is all going to really play out but the volatility should come crashing in after all this news coming out all right uh, hold that thought and then we want to come back here in just a moment and then uh, we'll analyze what's going on in our livestock trade as well that's a great point you make and we'll see how the livestock is reacting to all the usda data came out and uh, we have some moves in the grain trade here that could impact the livestock trade and we'll talk about it right after this and I just wanted to remind you, not only did we get our uh, uh, grain numbers from USDA, we also got some cotton numbers. I wanted to share a few of those with you here as well while we have just a second. Um, for the uh, cotton, the beginning stocks were pegged at 4.3 million bales. That stayed the same. Uh, yield per acre actually picked up a little bit, 860 pounds per acre. I think their uh, last guess was 838. Production, 18.5. Uh, 9 million bales. That was a little uh, higher than the previous uh, estimate. Exports remained at 15 million bales. The ending stocks uh, climbed up just a little bit to 4.4 million. They had been 4.3. Now look at our live cattle trade and our feeder cattle market for you. And on the live cattle board, we currently have February still 80 higher. We have April uh, close to a dollar higher, up 92 at 127.75. And if we look at the uh, feeder cattle market right now, here on the feeders, we currently have the March up 80 cents at 144.05, and we have April 85 higher at 145.72. Then you take a look at the lean hog trade today, and here you have uh, basically everything lower except for the February by itself. It tends to go up and down. Uh, the uh, current trade is about eight cents higher. April down 80 cents, so at 58.80 as the uh, selling continues in the hog market. Scott Geek has rejoins us. Uh, he's with Walsh Trading in Chicago. And uh, Scott, let's talk about this uh, livestock trade here. I haven't heard much in the way of cash cattle market activity out in the plains yet. Uh, there's more winter weather moving into the plains and I have a feeling that a lot of those uh, feedlot managers were kind of waiting to see what would happen with the crop report to see if they knew if they had to adjust for the feed grain prices or not. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, the, the cattle, is, it's a weird weird market. So you have a lot of bullish catalysts, and you still have some bearish catalysts. So the exports were off a little bit, but the cumulative sales are up about 16% overall. So you, that's still showing a bit uh, stronger than expected demand. The restaurants and all that are still trying to recoup from the extreme cold weather. But as far as the chart looks, I mean, after that this uh, January 31st low, we're still grinding higher. We're still stabilizing, and it's still trending to back to the upside. So we're going to see how that's actually going to play out. You know, as far as the, the hogs go, we've been I've been talking about that 55 level for about two weeks now. Uh, we're testing that. We're going to see where this is going to close. If we close before that 55 level, we have a lot of room to the run to the downside. So we're going to keep on where that is going to settle and where that's going to close. All right. Well, uh, Scott, thank you so much for talking with us here today. I appreciate that. And I know there's a lot going on, so I'll let you uh, get back to it.